Thread, you're in my shot. Come on, man. Come on, we practice this. Come on. <laughs> well, anyway, so here we are at the other Lizard Midtown, and I just had to pop in here just to see if we could maybe find somebody without having to go across the water, and we hit the jackpot. We have a Traveler, a Wandering Ashik, and a Ransom Broker all in one tavern. It's pretty cool. Plus, we got some mercenaries, and this little dude, Max Memixi, I think. Um, let's see what this guy's all about. Um, uh, I am a skin healer from the village. Oh, another healer. Oh, that could be nice. I shall all plant life for these lands and their healing properties. Being a healer is all I have ever wanted to do, but my family have sent me out into the world to teach me of the world's dangers and make me more serious, apparently. <laughs> I am too jubile and upbeat is because I am ignorant of what the world is really like. Okay. Troops, they can trust my knowledge and methods. I'm not a good fighter, but I'm sure some of your men will teach me. Mm, that's true. 100 gold? Really? Dude, you're in. You could always have two healers, right? Okay, so let's go talk to the ransom broker and see how much we can get for these guys. Okay, so here we go. First one 150 for these guys, 266 for these. Wow. 140 for those. 150 for those and 204 for those. Okay, so that's a little disappointing. Well, these I understand. Hmm. 266. Dang, we should have got more dwarves. Otherwise, these guys and these guys definitely. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's sell these guys. And let's sell these and these and those and these last ones. Boom. Wow quite a good haul. <laughs> About 7,000 gold almost? Somewhere around there? Dang. Um, so that's pretty nice. And that brings us to our next subject. The other reason I came here, I completely forgot to check about the other place, but the mounts. I came in here, I sold the loot, and we had like three horses from those guys. So I went to the market, and I was like, okay, let's go to the horses and sell them, and look what they have here. They have heavy ones, and then they heavy horned ones, which are different. They look, um, I don't know, a little more leaner, a little meaner, but oh my goodness. And then I found this, a Triceratops. Oh my goodness. I would buy it, but we don't need it right now, especially with requiring seven riding skill, but look at this thing. Armor is 60. Speed is actually not that bad. 32, these guys are 35. Um, a horse is 49, of course, but that's not what we're going for. Maneuverability is not bad too. This one's 50. These are 50. It's only 30. It's not crazy, but in charge is 42, and 600 hit points. That is insane. So yes, <laughs> I might be either try. Hmm, that's low skill points. Either we go for the triceratops, or I come back and get a heavy horned one because those are pretty cool looking too. The um, what are they? The Dark Elves have ones that are like these, they have the cold ones, but then they have their heavier ones, but they got armor and stuff, and I don't, it's more Dark Elvey. This way, it's just, it's just Raptor. So yes, that's the target for our future mount, but I have all this coin, so I'm going to invest it here, because we have to go to some marinas. There are quite a few, um, so let me do this, and I'll be right back. Okay, we made a good profit there, so I invested it. We have 14,000 because I ended up doing the dye works for 10,000 because it was almost 600 gold a week. I could not pass up that much. Otherwise, the rest were so bad. Like, I think the best was like 200 maybe. Um, well, 72 Tomb Raiders. Oh, hmm. We can't. We don't have time. I have to go after um, these tournaments. There's tons. Let's go over here and just fast travel. There's one in Airby which we've never done, so that'd be another new token in case there is a glitch and you need separate five tokens. Uh, there's one in Putrid Stump again for the Skaven. Well, I think we went to Skaven by before. Um, and then there's one in the Goblins Territory. Those are the three that we can do. There's two more, but of course they're in places that people don't like us. <laughs> so hopefully we can hit these all up. Hit this one, and then we can get in our boat and go to do the scaving one and then get in our boat and maybe make it to the goblin one just in time. So yes, oh, there's quite a few people here. Let's just pop in here see if there's anyone. There's a traveler and leopard company. Okay, so let's go 
do a tournament. So here we go, we're bet on ourselves. A bunch of our companions are in here again, but look at all these vassals. Tons and tons of vassals. So this would be a good test to see how tough these guys are. Those lizard men were very tough. Oh, <laughs> okay, so it's just these guys first. First, oh, more throwing weapons. Okay. Leave my dwarf alone. Only time you'll ever hear me say that. Okay. And... Throwing weapons, not so much. Okay. okay. Oh, I got him in the knee. Okay. Oh, don't shoot me. Don't do it. There you go. Nice. Oh, he had a bow too. Okay. I was like, how are you throwing so accurately? Three teams with seven fighters each. Okay. Place a bet on ourselves and fight. Now let's tell our guys to follow me. Oh, they're... Oh, oh shoot, we're in the middle. Let's go back here. Serpentine around them. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Trying to learn these guys over here. If they fight each other, that'd be perfect. No, don't hit me. Hit them. Oh, you guys suck. You guys suck so much. Take that, you chaos boy. There you go. Come on. Oh, he got me. Oh, that sucked. We were like smack dab in the middle there. There was nowhere for our team to go. Okay. Well, luckily we knocked out at least one guy. So let's try this again. Two teams with five. Eight. Oh my goodness. Eight eater. Biff fighters. Okay, so here's some of those guys. They don't look like they're really armored well. No, you don't. Don't hit me. Yes! I need a shield. And a sword. Can I get a sword here? There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're not too tough. Okay, so four teams, two fighters each. Let's place a bet. Go ahead and fight. Okay. Yes, yeah, so let's go after these guys first. Of course, they give me more throwing weapons, but I got got guy. I got him double tap. There we go. Okay. Oh what? Oh. Okay. Go work. <laughs> Thread. Catch. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way I'm going to hit them from here. Yeah, just come at me. I got throwing spears. Okay. Dang it. Oh, nice. Oh, oh shoot. He got throwing axes. Ah. Oh, that would have been a headshot right there. Oh, that was a headshot. Nice. 24 damage. Dang. Okay. Two teams, one fighter each. How many is left? Oh, just these three. Oh, these guys are not that tough, really. As long as you're not ganged up, of course. Let's see, where is he? Oh, there he is. And he has throwing weapons. Okay. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, they're not too tough. But I imagine they'd probably be more cavalry based, these guys. Place a bet. Actually, I think every lord is pretty much cavalry based. Let's see. Except for me. Um, Let's fight in the next round. We got a bow. Oh, okay. Well, let's do a little archery then. <laughs> oh, luckily he's not very good at throwing weapons. Can I get a headshot? No. Okay. Dang it! Come on! Dang it! Okay. Come on! There we go. Uh, it's hard to block so many swings. Okay. Uh, th wow. 9,950 gold. That's nice. Okay, so we don't need... Well, let's pop in here. 
I'm not going to invest because, like I said, we're probably going to go to war with these guys. Steel on the edge. I thought about it, and some say that the pirates are pretty easy. Who is this guy? It's all Amir's. This guy, I was meant to. Sultan. Why are you not wearing any clothes, dude? <laughs> ruler Kingdom of... <laughs> The ruler is not wearing any clothes. Okay. Got two happy points with them. That's neat. Um, those won't last. But yes. Okay, this guy looks a little tough. Got some pretty good armor there. Yeah, I'm still on the fence because these guys got bows. So we could take a lot more hits with them. Whereas the pirates got guns. But then again, they take a lot longer to reload. We'll do a test run. Don't worry. I'll do a test run. So where did I park my boat? I left it way over here. So I'm going to hop in the boat. And we're going to see if we can hit up Putrid Stump, because it's not that far from the water. Whereas the Goblin one is a little bit farther. And I will see you at the next tournament. So, here we are. We made it to Putrid Stump. It was night time, so I checked to see. And we just made it. This one is still having a tournament. The ones in the Goblin Lands, they weren't having a tournament. So, even if I would have gone there, it would have been over before I even got there. So, that was a good choice. Um, very odd there's no one actually here though. <laughs> it's just the town holding the tournament, I guess. But while I was waiting through the night, our buddy upgraded uh, the new one. And this guy needs some work, but he's not too bad. Um, he leveled up to level 2. <laughs> yes. But uh, he already had, what was it, 3 in wound treatment, 2 in surgery, and 2 in first aid. So I decided you have 6 strength, you can't use much for weapons. So I might as well do your intelligence first, get you those points, so you have 3, 3, and 3. Good level backup in case Augie Boggy gets knocked out. I'll probably do a couple more intelligence as well, and we'll try to get another surgery and another first aid. Those are pretty handy. And then we'll start working on his strength so he can use like a crossbow. He's an archer right now, the only thing I could really give him was this sword. <laughs> Otherwise you need 9 strength for that. Uh, I could give him this gun, but that seems a little overkill, but eh, could. I don't, I'm not using it. That's true. I could give him this, too. Oh, I just realized I, I can use this on horseback. That's neat. Um, so I could give him that, and I could use the gun. Uh, he can't use that, and I don't have any shields for him right now, so I'll have to think of getting some gear. So yes, I'd love to give him this, but he needs a little bit more strength for that. <laughs> but here we go. Uh, we made it. There's a tournament, so let's go enter it right now um... join a tournament so it should be pretty easy um... especially since there's no skaven vassals here which is very odd but that's fine Oh, okay this one's even different than the other one i was expecting that little fighting field again Okay. Oh, i'd love to fight them on this one this one's a lot more room to maneuver oh nice shot blood under yes oh more throwing weapons Great. Get him. Yes, use a sword. <laughs> oh, that's silly orc. Okay, let's get this chaos guy over here. If I can. Oh, no, wait, that's an orc, too. What's this guy? Oh, that's Augie Boggy. Oh, <laughs> I keep forgetting that I give him such awesome armor. Okay, and then there's Skeezel. Sorry, Skeezel. Oops, hit a friendly. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, let's place a bet. Let's see, who else is in here? There's really just these guys. Okay. Those are beastmen, those gore ones. Place a bet. Well, this is going to be a nice, easy victory, at least. So, yes, after this, we'll have quite a bit of money. I'll probably try and invest someplace else. Maybe the other scaven place. Because we actually... Stop it. Are almost breaking even with all of our troops. It's very cool. Um, we made. I think we have to pay $300 stuff for all of our troops right now, which is not too bad at all compared to what it was, and it could be. That's pretty nice. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Sorry, Thread. Hit you in the backside there. Oh, and now I just hit you in the knee. Uh, maybe I should just sit this one out. <laughs> Where this guy beats on me. Okay. Place a bet. Okay. And fight. So, yes, lots of tournaments in this one. But it's good money. What can I say? Very first win always gets lots of profits. Um, and what? that's what I've been trying to work on. We got the troops. I've got the renown. I'm working on 
right to rule. I got another person out doing that right now. Speaking of companions, um, that one new Arab guy has a trouble with Bug, and Bug does not like him either. He's like talking. I should have recorded it, but I didn't. He was talking how he he got the respect for all factions and uh, religions and races, except for Bug. Apparently, Bug is his own race and faction. <laughs> That's fine. Bug didn't like him first. So, there we go. I will have to try to send him off as soon as possible to do some right to rule. But yes, then we can start picking on people. Um... Dang it! Thread? Is that you shooting arrows at me? It is. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, he's totally solely going after me there. Okay. Come on, Thread. Come on. Dang. Okay. Let's see. Two teams with two fighters each. Oh. Two more rounds. This one and last one. Okay. But let's see. Gosh. We've done a lot of tournaments. I'm going to have to go home. I think. Drop off some of this gear that I've been holding on. Like that big axe. Oh. Oh my goodness. Nope. That's not good. And, um, and, uh, try to get our tournament medals. And I'm gonna hold on to like four or five, what is it? And see if. Oop, come on. If I can. Maybe have enough medals to get something from that one guy. Because I'm pretty sure he said five cracked medals. And that's what I had, but I'm thinking it's coded, so each tournament has to have its own particular one. Whew. Do we have to fight? Who is it? Oh, good, it's a beast guy. Oop, ouch! Hit it! Okay. Gosh, I hate throwing weapons. I really do. I don't like them. Okay. Boom. So there you go. Gonna make lots of coin right here. How much did we make? And again, 9,950 plus 500. Wow. 17 right now. That's the other reason we're doing all these. Um, let's go to the castle. And yep, we got another tournament medal. So yes, they're all cracked. But as you can see, we now have quite a few. One of these we did twice. I'm not sure which one now. Uh, but that's still one, two, three, four at least from four different places. Plus we'll have our orc one which will be the fifth. So I'll just pack around these and see if we can actually get something from one of those guys. I don't know. Where are we now? Is this, this isn't the castle. This is a tower. Oh, here's the castle. Oh, nice. I like the decor here. <laughs> Okay, so let's see, we already got die works here. We have now probably the same as before. 31,718 coins, wow, okay. Well, hmm, what can we do? We have not much time really. I think I'm going to invest at, oh, where is it? Over here, Skaven Blight, because we haven't done that yet. Um, I'll just do that off camera. And I think we have enough money. We could probably uh, we could do another one. I'll have to go through these things to figure out which one we don't have. Uh, probably this one I might do. Oh, we still got that mission. That's right. Oh shoot. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to try to find that place. And if I can find it, I'll throw it in this episode. Otherwise, I'll have to just cut here. It'll be a little short, but it'll be for the next episode. Um, so I'll, I'll either be right back or I'll see you guys next time. I totally forgot. I forgot to look at the tavern. And here we go. We have a guy. Who is this one? It is the Bright. I don't remember which one that is. What about instant magical items? Yes. Oh, it's this guy. Yes. He has armor, but it's I can't use any of it. There's sadly no orc armor. He has uh, human armor, dwarf armor, two pieces of that two Tomb King armors. He has one goblin, but it's 53,000. 
seven hundred. That's a lot. Um, and that's for bug. And then we got one lizard suit. So yes, nothing I can use sadly. And it's all expensive. Very expensive. That's fine. Who else we have here? We have a wandering scald, a ransom broker, Joseph Bugman, Bearman of Urslo. Well, let's go and tavern keeper. Who's Joseph Buckman? I think he's a companion, actually. Yes, yes, I know you're welcome. I don't follow you. I'm sorry, fellow. I thought you were another p punter coming over to thank me for making my beloved brew. Ah, he makes the Bugman's brew. Okay, I've heard of this guy. Master Brewer, Bugman's XXXXXX. You know me, my work. Snare Kraken, although it's only recently been rebuilt. It's probably gone now because goblins own it now. Then again, they might like their brew. Um, I just took my party. Okay, so he doesn't like goblins. He doesn't say anything about orcs, though. Yeah, it says brew is good as ever. I will raise against the goblins again. My rangers are currently training in the town tournaments. Ah, so that's his Bugman's rangers. Okay. Hmm. If you promise me we'll fight some goblins, I will follow you wherever you go. Okay. Now I have to ask you guys. I've been trying to keep it role played, you know, orcs and recruiting people that might only be orcs, but of course I had to get a few that were cheap and free, mainly for the right to rule. I might get rid of them like that Florin guy. I don't know about him. Um But it's a little hard in this mod because there's so many good companions. Um and I'm thinking I read this guy is the best engineer or one of the best engineers. So, I'll ask you, would you mind if I hired this guy? How much is he worth? I'm sure I can afford it. Three thousand. Wow, that's that's pretty steep, but that's not bad. Three thousand for engineering. It saved me a lot of points and a lot of headache. So I would do that. I would say that I could afford that and I would buy him or hire him, sorry. Um, but let me know if I should hire him or if that's alright with you guys because I would love to do that to just cover one of our big bases I've been trying to work on um, plus he said he goes after goblins which we are orcs and uh, he didn't say badline goblins so we could always go after a few <laughs> night goblins just to thirst his vengeance um, that's not quite right uh, but yes I will see you guys next time bye